Hello my friends! So lately I've been seeing a lot of freezer meal videos on YouTube and I've been finding them very inspiring and I said, you know what self, why don't I try to make some breakfast freezer meals for my girls in the morning and for myself just to make it a little bit faster and a little bit quicker because I do like to try to give my girls a warm or hot breakfast especially in the winter time every single day. Now, unfortunately, I have one incredibly picky eater who pretty much eats nothing. <laughs> and I have one that is very open to trying anything that I present to her. So what I decided was that I was going to make some keto bagels for myself so that I'll always have those on hand in the freezer and in the refrigerator. And I wanted to try some frozen French toast sticks to have for my girls in the morning. Um, and you'll see at the end um, how they turned out. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below and I would love for you to hit the like button if you like this type of content because it really helps my channel out and it lets me know that you want me to make more videos like this. So let's see how this turned out. Up first is the frozen fringe toast sticks. So I got this bread from Publix and the reason why I got this bread is because the loaves of bread in the store are very thin. They didn't have any Texas toast bread at the Publix that I went to, so I wanted to be able to make the slice thicker. So I'm going to cut this myself um, before I make the French toast. Okay, so have you guys ever made frozen French toast sticks before? I have not, so I'm hoping that this will be a good alternative for my oldest, because I like for her to have a hot um, breakfast. I like for both of them to have a hot breakfast, but Ava, my youngest, she is more open. Like she'll have oatmeal or she'll have a uh, cream of wheat. She eats all of that. But my oldest is, whoo, girl, talk about picky. Um, so this is about how thick I want it to be. Now this bread is very soft, so I might just let this um, sit out for a little bit so it can get a little bit stale, so that way uh, it'll be nice and crispy on the outside for the French toast. And I'm, cut them, I'm cutting them about this thick, I'd say about an inch uh, thick. Mm, this bread smells so good. Okay, Whew, all done. All right, now I'm gonna set this bread to the side um, and I'm gonna start on my keto bagels. So I sprayed a little cooking spray in the bottom of the bowl so that it doesn't stick too bad. And so I'm gonna add three cups of mozzarella cheese and four ounces of cream cheese. I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I've made this so many times. So now I'm going to put this in the microwave and um, for like, I'm gonna do it for a minute and then do it every 30 seconds until it's all the way melted together. Okay, this is what it looks like after about one minute, so I'm gonna do it again for 30, mix it around, mix it up and do it again for 30 seconds. Okay, this is what we want it to look like. See how you can't see any more of the string in there, it's pretty well incorporated. Just keep mixing it around. So, um, to this, we're going to add one and a half cups of almond flour, two eggs, and a tablespoon of baking powder. Now, don't add the eggs when it's piping hot like this because it will fry your egg up. So add everything else, let it cool for a second, but don't let it harden, and then add your eggs.
I will say this, my um, keto bagel dough never ever comes out the way it looks on the internet where it looks like a perfectly round dough. Mine typically usually looks like this and it comes out just fine. I've made this many times. Um, so this recipe, you could probably make at least 10 keto bagels with this recipe. You can have this recipe as well um, and that works out fine. They, these freeze really well. You could freeze the dough up. You can do any of that. So now I'm gonna get ready to start forming my bagels. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pan and a, a silicone baking sheet to bake my um, bagels on. If you don't, if you do not have a silicone baking sheet, you can easily use parchment paper. So I'm gonna take about this much. Now, if you're not used to you like making anything keto, baking anything keto, divide it up equally. But I know about how much I like for my bagels to be. So um, I make them to be about this. But make sure your hands are wet so that it doesn't stick. Roll it up like this, and then wrap them together. Now it's not perfect, again, but good enough for sure. So I'll do it again. I take about a big tablespoonful, and I will roll it up. and then connect it. And you can see that my hands are starting to get sticky again, so I'm going to wet them. You can have a bowl right next to you of water um, to just dip in to make sure your hands stay wet so that they don't stick um, to the dough. is a really big one but it'll work so now I'm gonna add my favorite which is everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's I'm gonna just sprinkle this on top here I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees I'm gonna bake these between 10 and 15 minutes you have to check them um, because they could be get crispy on the outside and then still be pretty soft on the inside so okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven now Okay, I got my big cast iron um, getting ready to be heated up here on the stovetop with some butter. This is what I'm gonna make my French toast in. Okay, now I'm gonna put about six eggs in here to make the batter for my French toast. Okay, I'm gonna add some milk. I'm gonna add some cinnamon. And I'm not measuring, I'm just adding this in. And I'm gonna add a capful of vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. Mmm, it smells so good. Now I'm gonna mix this all up. Okay, I moved my assembly line over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my French toast in. So I'm gonna take one piece, dip both sides, 
drain it a little bit and put it in. I'm gonna do another piece, dip both sides, drain it a little bit and put it in. Oops, I missed some. Oh, I'll pour a little um, bit over that. Checked on the bagels while my French toast is cooking and they looking pretty good. Um, they're browning nicely. They're browning really nicely here. Still pretty soft, so I'm gonna. They were in here for 12 minutes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them in there and just cut the oven off. Smells really good. Just flip these over. Uh, so I'll probably add a little bit more butter to the plan to do the next two. Bagels are perfect, and I like mine a little bit more brown um, because, like I said, the bigger your bagels are the longer it's gonna to take to cook on the inside. Now I don't want them to, these are very soft also. Um, you can use these for sandwiches or anything, but when you freeze them, uh, you can pop them in the toaster to cook them, or even if you, you could store them in your refrigerator. I've stored them in my refrigerator for up to like a week and a half and they're just fine. Um, and again, you just pop them in the toaster to um, toast them. Okay, so I have um, cooling on this baking rack. This is where I'm going to cool them at. Um, and I'm cool them completely before I cut them into slices and get ready to freeze them. Hubby stole one. It was looking too good to, to him. <laughs> Just put the last two on here. And as soon as I take them off of the um, pan, I sprinkle a little brown sugar and um, sugar mixture on top and let it sit in there. Um, so I'm just gonna let these cool completely. I did leave them on for a little bit extra long of a time because I want them to be nice and crunchy on the outside. So I'm gonna let these cool completely before I slice them and get them in the freezer. There you go, these are ready for the freezer or the fridge. These are gonna be so good to dip in some syrup. Okay, these are ready to go in the freezer. I kind of sucked all the air out as much as I possibly can. Um, and we'll see how that my family likes them. That's what they look like coming out of the freezer. I'm going to warm them up for, I'm gonna warm them up maybe for um, 30 seconds because I don't want them to get too spongy, you know? So let me warm these up and pray that they eat them. Hmm, they warmed up really well. They're not like soggy or anything. They're still firm, but not like too hard. So, so far so good. I just pray that they eat them. And I had to put them on um, for two 30 second intervals. So one minute total. And I'm gonna put these little syrup dip cups in a container. Okay, so here how, here's how it looks. And then I have like a kitchen towel that I lay on top of them to make sure they don't get syrup on um, their uniform. So let's see how they eat them. Several days later. Ava, you like your French toast sticks? Oh, good. What about you, Zara? Oh, I tried. So there you have it, guys. Obviously, Zara hated them. She took one bite and was like, uh-uh, not eating it. <laughs> and Ava really, really liked them. She ate all three, all three French toast sticks that um, I packed for her in the morning. They do eat breakfast in the car 99% of the time because we have um, quite a, a ride to get to their school. And so leave a comment down below and let me know, do you do breakfast freezer meals for your kids? And what are some of the things that you guys give your kids for breakfast, especially if you have picky eaters like myself? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture on the screen and you can also check out my previous video right next to it and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.